Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do word problems in multiplication in class 3. We know that multiplication is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. The first sum that we are going to do is, a spider has 8 legs. How many legs do 8 spiders have collectively? So let us first write down the statements. Number of legs a spider has is equal to 8. What do we have to find? Number of legs 8 spiders have. So which will be 8 into 8. In class 3, children would have learned the 8 tables. So by now they will know what is 8 into 8 is. 8 into 8 is? 64. So take and write down the answer now. Therefore, 8 spiders have 64 legs collectively. How to write the 7, 8 and 9 tables has been dealt with as a separate topic in a separate video. Link to that video is given below in the description box. You may refer to it. Let us do the next sum now. There are 7 days in a week. How many days are there in 9 weeks. So let us first write down the statements. Number of days in a week is equal to 7. What do we have to find? Number of days in 9 weeks. So if there is 1 week, 7 days. In 9 weeks, how many days? It will be 9 into 7. As the children are familiar with 7 or 9 tables, they can write down the answer directly now. 9 into 7 is 63. So take and write down the answer now. Therefore, there are 63 days in 9 weeks. Let us do the next type of sum. There are 365 days in a year. How many days are there in 6 years? Let us first write down the statements. Number of days in a year is equal to 365. Number of days in 6 years will be 6 into 365. This is a 3 digit by single digit multiplication. I have dealt with the topic of 3 digit number by single digit number multiplication in a separate video with ample examples for you to understand very clearly. Link to that video is given below in the description box. So first write down the number 365 and its place values 1s, 10s and 100s. Multiply it by 6 which is a single digit number. You have to write it in the 1s place. Begin multiplication from the 1s place. 6 into 5 is 30. 0 carry over 3. 6 into 6 is 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. 9 carry over 3. 6 3s are 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. 1 in the hundreds place and 2 moves to the thousands place. So the answer is 2190. So 6 into 365 will give you the answer or the product 2190. What is this? This is the number of days in 6 years. So now take and write down the answer. Therefore, there are 2190 days in 6 years. Hope it is clear so far. Let us do the next sum. A coconut trader has 700 coconuts in a bag. He has 8 such bags with 700 coconuts in each of them. When you see the word such each, it means that it is going to be multiplication. And what do we have to find? How many coconuts are there in all? So first let us take and write down the statements. Number of coconuts in one bag is equal to 700. Number of coconuts in 8 bags will be 8 into 700. Here this type of multiplication comes under the concept multiplying by tens and hundreds. I have dealt with the concept of multiplication by tens and hundreds in a separate video with sufficient examples for the children to understand. Link to that video is also given below in the description box. So what do you do here when you have to multiply it by hundreds? First multiply the numbers. 
So here 8 into 7 is 56 and you just have to append the zeros to the end. So you get the answer to be 8 sevens are 56 followed by two zeros and the answer is 5600. So now take and write down the answer. Therefore, there are 5600 coconuts in all. The next sum that we are going to see is a fruit seller sold 45 watermelons on each day of the week from Sunday to Saturday. How many watermelons did he sell? So now we have the information that number of watermelons sold on each day of the week is equal to 45. The next information is that he is selling it from Sunday to Saturday. So, let us count the number of days from Sunday to Saturday. It is nothing but Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, we have 7 days. 7 days makes 1 week. What do we have to find now? Total number of watermelons sold. We know he sold 45 watermelons on each day of the week. He sells watermelons for 7 days, that is 1 week. Now we will have to find the total number of watermelons sold. What do we have to do? 7 by 45 or 7 into 45. So now write down 45 which is a 2 digit number with its place value 1s and 10s. And write down 7 in the 1s place because 7 is a single digit number. Now 7 into 5 is 35, 5 carry over 3. 7 into 4 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. So, 1 in the tens place and 3 moves to the hundreds place. So, the product is 315. So, what is the answer? 315 is the answer. Now, take and write down it with the statement. Therefore, the fruit seller sold 315 watermelons. The next sum that we are going to see is a school bus carries 24 children in each of their buses. How many children are there in 24 such buses? Take and write down the statements now. Number of children in a school bus is equal to 24. Number of children in 24 such buses will be 24 into 24. This is a two digit by two digit multiplication. To see more examples for two digit by two digit multiplication, refer to my video. The link to that video is given below in the description box. And in the iCard section, I have given a link to the playlist containing all the videos for class 3 multiplication. You may also click on the iCard to access the playlist. Now, the next step is write down the number 24 with its place values 1 sentence. And next, write down the number 24 by which you are going to multiply vertically one below the other. Now begin multiplication from the 1's place. 4 into 4 is 16. 6 carry over 1. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So in the first step you multiply 24 by 4. The next step you are going to multiply 24 by 20 because 2 is in the 10's place. When you do multiplication of a number which is there in the 10's place, first you will have to add a 0 in the 1's place and then begin multiplication. 2 into 4 is 8 and then 2 into 2 is 4 which will move to the hundreds place. Now add these two products. 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. 7 carry over 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the product is 576. So what is this 576? It is a number of children in 24 such buses. Take and write down the answer. Therefore there are 576 children in 24 buses. There are a few more sums, so stay with me till the end of this video. The cost of a lampshade is Rs. 250. How much money is needed to buy 8 lampshades? Take and write down the statements. Cost of 1 lampshade is equal to Rs. 250. Money needed to buy 8 lampshades is equal to 8 into 250. Money multiplication is a separate concept. I have dealt with this also in a separate video with sufficient examples. You may refer to that video. The link to that video with proper naming convention so that you can easily identify the video has been given below in the description box. 
or you may also access the playlist from the iCard section. Now write down the three digit number with its place values and write down eight in the ones place because it is a single digit number. Now eight into zero is zero. Eight into five is 40, zero carry over four. Eight into two is 16, 16 plus four is 20. Zero and two moves to the thousands place. So the answer is 2000. So this is the money needed. 2000 is the money needed. So when you take and write down the answer, ensure that you put the rupee symbol. Therefore, money needed to buy eight lampshades is rupees 2000. The next sum that we are going to see is Samir bought nine packets of color pencils. Each packet had 12 color pencils. While opening the packets, Samir found that 10 color pencils were broken. How many unbroken color pencils did he have? This is a very interesting sum. Let us do it step by step. The first statement is number of packets of color pencils Samir bought is equal to 9. Number of color pencils in each packet is equal to 12. With these two information, we can find out what is the total number of color pencils that he bought. So, total number of color pencils is equal to 12 into 9. So, write down 12 and multiply it by 9. So, 9 into 2 is 18. 8 carry over 1. 9 into 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 0 and the 1 moves to the hundreds place. So, the answer is 108. So, 12 into 9 is 108. This is the total number of color pencils. There is something else which is given in the sum now. While opening the packets, Samir found that 10 color pencils were broken. Of these 108, 10 color pencils were broken. What should we find out now? How many unbroken color pencils did he have? What will you do to find that out? We know that there are 108 color pencils of which 10 are broken. To find out the unbroken color pencils, we will have to subtract 108 minus 10. What is that? Now see, I have taken written down the statements. Number of color pencils that were broken is 10. And the next statement I have written is number of unbroken color pencils, which is nothing but 108 minus 10. This is the concept of 10 less than. 108 minus 10 will give you 98. So, therefore, the answer is Samir had 98 unbroken color pencils with him. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 3 under the topic multiplication for the children. Of which I have covered the topic quick revision of 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 tables and other multiplication concepts learnt in lower classes. Then I have dealt with how to write 7, 8 and 9 tables. Then we saw multiplication on number line. Then we did multiplying a 3 digit number by single digit number. And then we dealt with multiplication by tens and hundreds. Then we saw how to do a two digit by two digit number multiplication without regrouping and with regrouping. Then we dealt with money multiplication. In this video we saw story sums applying multiplication. In the next video we will be doing mental math and multiplication worksheet which will cover all the topics that the children have learned so far under the topic multiplication in class 3. Dear viewers, I have covered each of these topics in separate videos. Links to the videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Thank you for watching my video. You may also click on the in-screen video which will contain the playlist of class 3 multiplication. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.